right, so first let's get started with uh, um, modules, right? Okay, so let's do that. Uh, so, so we need a module list, a list of modules. So let's do that. So um, our JavaScript uh, will be module list, right? So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna copy a lot, a lot of this because most of it looks the same. So paste, and this is just gonna become module list, module list, and module list, right? And this, I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. And the course editor is gonna have just a heading at the top and below it, we're gonna have the module list. Okay, all right. Let's see how that renders. There we go. So we have the course editor and that contains the module list on the left-hand side. Yes, all right. And, um, and so to render it, the, um, what we could do is um, display here the the uh, the data that uh, I'm going to use to render right so const uh, uh, course the course is just an object which has the following modules as an array of modules and uh, each module has a title so module module one with an ID. Right, and has several modules, module one, module two, and three. And uh, we can pass that to the module list. We can pass that to the module list. We can say, um, pass the, the course that we are displaying. Okay, and uh, inside of modules, uh, so the course might also have a title, title, course one, two, three. So I can pass the whole course and the, the in the module list, I can display you know, module list, uh, maybe the 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 name of the title of the course. So I'm passing the course, I'm passing the course as a as an attribute. Right? Notice that I'm passing an entire object. Before I was passing strings, numbers. Yes, I can pass an entire object as well. Right? So that course is now available here in the module list, right? And I can reference the title of the course right here. Right, with my curly brackets, right? Okay, so this would be module list for course one, two, three. Okay. And to render each one of these, presumably I would list, I would, I would render, what would I render? I would render something like what? Uh, UL, maybe class, uh, do a list group. Uh, and in here I could render maybe a couple of line items. And this would be uh, module one, class name, uh, list, list group item. Right, so maybe that, there's my first module. There is module one, yes, right? Uh, and I could have a whole bunch of these. Module one, module two, module three. Once I find myself copying and pasting, right, I should immediately start saying, ooh, how can I modularize this? You know, how could I abstract this, yes? Right, because I'm going to have to uh, iterate over this because I know the course contains an array of modules. Right, so I should be able to iterate over that. Right? So, so we could you know, take this and perhaps you know, put that in a separate component. 